Hey, what's going on guys? Today we're taking a look here at a gun cannon kit. Now I'll tell you, as much as I'm not that much of a fan of the gun cannon design generally, the recent HG releases have been really great kits, so I'm looking forward to checking out this one. This is of course the Kukuro's Duans Island version of the gun cannon, so it's basically going to be similar to the Origins gun cannon, but in the more kind of traditional original design that we know from the original series, right? So let's go ahead and check it out. Right, so as usual for the HG, the Origins, kit series we've got some really cool box art on here and I know this is not technically for the origin series but it is kind of you know kind of along that same series of HG releases here for the illustration just has all these really cool lighting effects and weathering there around in the kit so we are going to have both the parts and the markings for making this either as the Kai or Hayato version of the gun cannon where you have the cannons on the shoulders or you can use the missile pods here so we'll have the parts and markings for both versions which is cool on the side of the box we just kind of got the same thing there but if we go down here onto the bottom you can see the front and back view of the painted kit right here photographs of that and a couple different kind of classic poses there the laying down pose with the cannons kneeling there with the missile pods and then again kind of talking about how you have the different options for that. On the other side of the box here, just a little bit about Kukuru's Doan's Island. And with that, we can go ahead and pop the box. As you can see, kind of standard size HG box here for this one. There's our markings right on the top. We'll come back to those in just a moment. Taking a look at the instruction manual here first, it's the same box art, but it's kind of like rearranged. Interestingly, this would be cool to have a nice big poster of this. I wouldn't mind that. At all on the back side here is our marking guide and the color guide is gonna be down there at the bottom, but you can see these nice big reference images here to show you where all the markings are gonna go around it. On the first inside page here, we've got a few more photographs showing the different action poses and talking about some of the weapons and specs. This is all in Japanese and in English, so you can read that. We've got the parts list over here on this page. The last couple of parts of the construction here are gonna be in full color. Unfortunately, that's kind of like the weapons parts essentially where there's not a whole lot of color are involved uh, but the rest of the construction is all just going to be there in black and white all should be pretty familiar if you've built any kind of HD kits especially if you build some of the HD the origin kits but here's a look at the marking stickers that we have for this as you can see we've got either the 104 or the 109 variants that you can make with this the rest of this is all going to be all mostly in white a couple of little ones there in red but uh, all these small little markings that you can place on there if you'd like getting into the runners then we've got our polycaps PC001 here in gray up next, the A-Runner is in four colors. We've got yellow for a couple of accent parts there, white parts for the head, clear blue for the visor, and then gray for some weapons parts, feet parts, joint parts, hand parts. Runners B1 and B2 are gonna be all of our red parts for the kit with that middle section uh, being doubled. The rest of these being parts for the legs, the torso, the skirting armor, and all that. Runners C1 and C2 being some more weapons parts and backpack parts here being overlapped for this section. This is in that dark metallic brownish gray kind of color that we see on a lot of different model kits. Runners D1 and D2 are connected here. You can just snap those apart. These are in a kind of standard gray for some more of the joint parts for the kit. And last but not least, runner E is in an off-white for some parts for the missile pods. Very nicely detailed on those, and that's it. All right, guys, so here it is all built up. The classic laying down, rock throwing mobile suit here from the original Mobile Suit Gundam. Now with some fresh styling in the style of the origin mobile suits, which we've seen have been very, very cool as far as the HG kits go. And this is certainly no exception. It was a really, really cool build. One thing that I didn't really notice during the unboxing portion that I certainly noticed a lot more once I got to actually building the kit was that the red plastic is in that kind of a little bit more brittle red plastic which I really don't particularly like, I don't care for. Um, some people don't really like the more softer blend of plastic that Bandai has been using in their kits in more recent years, although I definitely would have preferred that in this particular case as this plastic uh, just is a little bit more harder to work with, especially if you aren't planning on painting the kit. You do have to be very particularly careful uh, when removing the nubs just to not leave those white stress marks. Of course, there's a many, many different ways to get rid of those or just to avoid it in general just by, like I said, being very careful, but it is one thing you are going to want to keep an eye out for. But let's talk about its accessories here, starting off with the hands. Really nice that we actually have some decent hand options here with this one, which isn't always the case with HG kits. So we've got a set of closed fists. The only thing that I find weird about the hands is that they look quite small, especially for the gun cannon. I don't remember the gun cannon like having necessarily small hands. I thought I remember it being very similar to the ARC-78 too, where uh, it's originally supposed to have kind of a little bit larger hands than that. Anyway, we've 
got closed fists for both sides. We also got a set of open hands like this for both sides as well. I think this is probably for it's doing its like uh, laying down sort of on its knees pose there, but really nice detail there as you can see. Then we've also got a trigger finger hand for the right side. This is going to be for use with the beam rifle. The beam rifle here, really cool looking. I've always been a fan of the gun cannons beam rifle just because it's, you know, very similar to the Gundams, but a little bit different. I do really like this one in particular. It's a really, really nice looking rifle here. So I think what I might do with this is actually maybe kit bash this, give this to a Gundam kit, maybe another HG Gundam The Origin kit, just to swap the rifle for this one. This one's pretty cool, but as you can see, the camera on the top can move in and out like that. Otherwise, nothing else moves on this. We have a peg in the hand on the left and the right side, although we only have a trigger finger hand for the right side. So you're not really gonna need that peg on the left side. I would just go ahead and maybe cut that off. No camera sticker or anything for that camera there on the front, but definitely a little bit of paint or something on that I think might look kind of nice. Really nicely detailed rifle there. Other than that, our only other option part, of course, is going to be the backpack. Now, I really, really like the fact that this is a completely separate backpack and not just like a kind of situation where you just take off the cannons and swap the cannons for the missile pods which I believe if I remember correctly is what was the case on the HG Revive version. Really 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 great kit and I'm not going to say anything negative about that kit because the HG Revive gun cannon is a fantastic kit but uh, for the equipment all you do is basically swap it with this one you have an entirely different backpack which is cool. All you're going to do is remove this one and as you can see you just have the two peg system there so you really you could put any backpack on it that you want but just like with the other origin versions of the gun cannon you have a really cool piston system there in the cannon which does add a lot of really nice detail to that so that can move up and down like so around here on the back there's some really nice uh, vent detail around on that as well compared with the missile pod backpack uh, also kind of has a really cool more rounded look to that a lot of really great detail throughout even with those parts being cut out and everything I mean that's a lot of really really nice detail for an HD kit plugged onto the back it's gonna look like so those come up over the shoulder like that so if you did want to mix and match maybe have one cannon and one missile pod on there you are gonna have to do some custom modification although I don't necessarily think it would be really all that difficult to do especially if you didn't care about maintaining the articulation of it but uh, as it is you aren't able to do that just straight out of the box so I'm gonna leave that backpack on there for the moment while we take a look at the articulation so the head will point all the way up to there and again for doing like the laying down down cannon firing pose it really needs to be able to look really quite far up like that so that neck joint I feel like is pretty good you'll notice there's no sticker or anything here in behind the visor there is some detail in there hopefully you guys can see that a little bit but definitely painting that in with some silver or something up inside uh, that detail inside behind the visor is certainly going to look quite nice even around here on the back of the head it doesn't have a camera on the back of the head for any kind of sticker but you can see like there's the antenna parts again just be a little bit careful with those but other than that the head can still turn left and right pretty good despite having those parts like on the sort of side of the torso kind of sticking up right near the head those are going to be getting in the way a little bit but you can still get a pretty good range of movement left to right there for that again a really nice detail here with having the Vulcan as an actual separate piece poking out there through the torso very nice detail in the torso section we have a really nice ab crunch there to the front forward like so. You can also bend a bit side to side here in the torso and of course rotation there. Here at the shoulder the polycap joint is going to swing out to the front like that otherwise it's just plugged in via a ball joint. Unfortunately you can only bring the arms up to about here before you're going to be popping the arm out of the socket which is kind of barely 90 degrees not even that. We have rotation at the bicep and then a nice double joint here in the elbow. So I want to show you guys what that looks like all completely bent like that so it gives you a really nice full bend. The wrist is just a simple ball joint there, but the cool thing about the elbow joint is that this piece right here kind of tucks in. It's actually, it looks like a part of the forearm, but it's actually kind of a part of the mechanism of the elbow joint. So when you fold that in, that gets kind of tucked into the joint there, which is pretty nice. Going on here to the skirt armor, the front skirts are connected. You can clip those apart for individual articulation if you would like, but those go up and down like that. Inside, no really uh, specific details up in there, really. The side skirts also will move up and down a little bit going around here to the back. The back skirt does not move at all. It's just completely fixed like that. Nothing works or anything like this as a way to plug the 
beam rifle onto the back skirt or anything. You can't do that, so nothing you would have to modify that if you wanted to do that. The hip joint, as you can see, will be able to slide forward and back a little bit there. You can also bring the legs quite far out to the side, all the way to there. To the front as well, if we lift up that front skirt, you can bring the leg up to about 90 degrees perpendicular to the body there. And we have rotation at the top of the thigh as well. Just like with the elbows, we have a knee joint where this part kind of bends very nicely there for a nice full double joint there at the knee. No separation of this knee armor as I don't think it's necessarily supposed to. I think this is actually usually just a part of the lower leg right there. So that's pretty typical. Down here at the ankle, a nice forward bend like that of the whole foot. It will point down, not quite so much though, only to about there, but some side to side rock there at the ankle, just on the ball joint and up underneath the feet. Nice full detail there. So we don't have any hollow gaps or anything, which is again, very nice to see and typical to the HG, the origin style kits. So with that guys, let's take a look at a few different poses here. And I gotta say, if you're a gun cannon fan, then you certainly are very lucky when it comes to model kits, because as I mentioned before, the HD gun cannon revive version is a fantastic kit. And this is another really fantastic kit. And that's just if you only like, you know, the original red gun cannon in the HD, the origin line, there's also multiple other variations from the origin series uh, versions of the gun cannon that are also really, really great kits. So you have some really fantastic kits to choose from. I've never built the master grade, but I wonder uh, you know what your guys thoughts are on that if you have built the master grade if you're a fan or if you have any particular you know, Pros or cons you'd like to share about that. Let me know But anything that I've ever heard about it I think has generally been pretty positive So I think that's also probably a pretty good master grade as far as those go as well So like I said if you're a gun cannon fan you certainly have a pretty good pick of kits Although that said would you guys like to see a real grade version of the gun cannon out at some point? I have a feeling that would probably be pretty popular I think maybe a lot of people would choose to have a gym before for the gun cannon, but, but I think, you know, obviously the gun cannon being one of the most popular mobile suits from the original series, or at least one of the most prominently featured mobile suits in the original series, uh, I think it's a pretty good chance that we may see a real grade gun cannon at some point in the future. MGSD gun cannon might be kind of cool as well. I think that would actually be pretty fun. Perfect grade. I don't know if that would ever happen, but you know, I don't know if that's something that you guys would like to see. Let me know in the comment section below. But as you guys can see with this one, uh, really, really nicely detailed, nicely articulated, really cool kit here that comes with basically everything that you could possibly want. I mean, the only other thing that I think might have been uh, cool to be included in the box with this is maybe if they would have included like an actual like little rock, just like a small little brown runner or a part of one of the runners in brown with just like a single piece to make a little plastic rock or to just two pieces sandwiched together something ice is probably what it would be but that would have been kind of funny to be included with this and I think would have been a very nice you know accessory that I think like adding that one little accessory in there probably would have been incentive enough for a lot of people who maybe wouldn't have picked up the kit uh, to pick up the kit simply for the reason that it comes with a kind of a funny goofy accessory something like that but hey unfortunately that was not the case uh fortunately though that would be a very easy thing to just make with just an actual rock or just you know sculpt something out of epoxy putty or something like that i think would be pretty simple to do if you want it but that's gonna do it here for this review guys let me know what you think about the kit in the comment section below i really like it i can highly recommend it for you guys definitely check it out and if you want to do so or any other gunpla you can check them out at usa gundam store of course the link will be down in the video description below as always always check the kit out and everything else there on the site. Thank you guys so much. If you would like to like and or subscribe while you're here, that would be greatly appreciated. I really appreciate all of your guys' support. Thank you so much. Till next time, have a great day, guys. See you later. Bye-bye.